up, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Heart of a Lion podcast. I am your host, Jay, and you have just stepped into the lion's den. If this is your first time tuning in, then thank you for tuning in. Go ahead and hit that follow or the subscribe button from wherever you're listening to the podcast, as well as follow the page on Instagram at H-O-A-L podcast. Again, that's at H-O-A-L podcast. If you are a returning listener, then thank you for coming back for some more. Thank you for tuning in. The support is very much appreciated. Now, this episode to me is a special episode, um, special and just for, for a variety of reasons. Now, I had planned, hoped, desired to start podcasting in 2023. You know, I recorded a few episodes and things just didn't go my way. Um, time didn't go my way. So I told myself January 1, 2024, I'm going to uh, release my first episode of the podcast. Didn't happen. First week of January, going to do a podcast, release a podcast. Didn't happen. Second week, didn't happen. And I had gotten so discouraged and so down on myself. I'm like, dang, like I really wanted to do this and things just aren't working out. Uh, why isn't it happening? Like just going through the motions, right? And I got to a point where I, I felt like God was saying, just start. And when I took that approach of rather than, you know, wallowing in the disappointment of me not starting the podcast yet and just starting, I like I felt like so much peace and so much release with just starting. So I started February 1st of this year, 2024. And this episode releasing on July 1st, 2024 is my 21st episode. And the reason why it's a big deal for me is for a couple of reasons. One, just because it shows that I've been consistent. Did I release the episode every week? No, but there were a lot of weeks where I was consistent. And then, yes, I may have missed a couple of weeks in between, but I've been very consistent to have, you know, to have 21 episodes in a span of five months, you know, that's amazing to, to, to hear and amazing to see, and just amazing to see the growth. Um, another reason why it's a big deal is because I just, you know, even before I started the podcast, I was just, you know, Googling stats just cause for me, um, when I started it, I was, I felt as though it's like, man, I really don't want to tell people because I don't want to get a few episodes in. And then I, you know, and then I'm over it and I don't make it to episode five. And so I really I legit didn't really start telling people until I got to episode five. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be consistent because, you know, me as somebody who's creative, like I can start something for a while, do something for a while and then like that creative itch lose or I get tired or I just unmotivated and I just stop doing it. However, with this, you know, I've exceeded whatever doubtful expectation I had. And here we are now with episode 21. So the stat, the stats that I was looking at, um, one stat said 90% of podcasts do not survive beyond their third episode. And I was that just floored me right there because it's like <laughs> I'm, ex I'm I'm doing this. And I'm expecting to do this and I'm hoping to get past episode three. But the fact that 90 per percent don't survive past or beyond the third episode, I was like, man, that's crazy. And then this uh, the top 10 percent of the world's most successful podcast is made up of 200,000 of which 90% of them will also be dead. 90% of them will also be dead by the time they reach episode 20. And it's just, it's crazy. So to know that I am in the, I guess, top 10% because I have made it, I have published episode 21, like for me is a huge accomplishment because again, it shows consistency, but again, it, it also shows that I'm in the top 10% of podcasters. Now it also determines like, you know, or not to say it determines. I also have to be consistent as I move forward. Um, but I'm, I've made it to the top 10%. 
I've made it to the top 10% and I wasn't sure that I would make it to the top 10% before I started or when I first started, you know, but praise God, because here we are, here we are. I, I got out of my own way. I got over myself and I just pushed forward and I did what I had to do. And I felt like I've had a lot to say. Um, I felt like there's a lot that God revealed to me, not just for my episodes, but just about myself, like throughout this process. And it's been, you know, it, it's rejuvenating. It's um, in some ways it's healing. It's therapeutic um, for me to just, you know, talk and get these thoughts out of my head um, to share what I feel like, you know, God has given me. Uh, but also it's, it's very motivating to, and encouraging. Like for me, it's encouraging to, to see that I've been consistent for this long and I've continued to push forward and I have a momentum that I'm, I don't want to stop. You know, I, I have so much more to talk about that I, I have not talked about up to this point. And I'm just I'm looking forward to continuously recording and continuously pushing out content. Now, you know, will things change over time? Yes. You know, I, I, I've said it in previous episodes. I still want to have guests on the show. So I look forward to doing that. You know, at some point I look forward to changing up the intro song and maybe change the format of how I do things a little bit. But the important thing is to, is to remain consistent, you know, stay consistent, keep moving, keep pushing and get out of my own way. You know, so if I had to encourage another creative or another potential podcaster, uh, for whatever potential business owner, I would say, get out of your own way, get over yourself and get out of your own way. You know, so many times we get in our own way. So many times um, we block our own blessings. So many times we stand in the way of whatever it is that God has for us. Or we, you know, we, we allow ourselves to be, um, uh, swamped with emotions or drowning our emotions and, you know, or be overwhelmed with our emotions. And it's, it's just not worth it. You know, it's not worth it. We have to take control of the situations. You know, now sometimes things are, you know, sometimes we just have unrealistic expectations in the sense like, man, I want to do this. Um, but man, like time, like just really isn't permitted for me to do it. I understand that, you know, so it gets to a point where certain things you either make time or you just, stop making excuses, you know, um, again, if, if, or if in another sense, if a lot of your time is just spent with like, I can't do this because of this, you know, this is how I'm feeling and I, I can't do it or I don't want to do it, whatever, get out of your way, overcome the emotions, overcome the obstacles, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. You know, I, have found a, a time for me that works for me to record my podcast and edit my podcast to push out content. You know, I, I, I realized that, you know, the times that I was doing it before was not working for me. It was not working for my family. Now I have a time that works for me. Now I have a time that works for my family. I do it at a time where it doesn't compromise my family time. I do it at a time where it doesn't, you know, compromise time where I could be doing other things, you know? So just, find what works for you, but also be consistent, keep pushing and don't, don't get caught up in the numbers either. Like I don't have crazy numbers as far as people who listen to this podcast. And I'm okay with that because I'm not in it for the, the, uh, the quantity I'm, I'm in it for the quality, you know, and I'm not in it to, you know, I'm doing this because I want to reach millions and millions of people. Now, if I reach millions and millions of people, that is great but I'm doing this as a creative outlet. I'm doing this, um, as a way to, to be creative, uh, to, to, but also to share what I, I believe, you know, God has given me or just share my heart on different things, you know, different experiences of things that I've been through, different things that I've overcome. Um, how I may be feeling on, on, on something at the moment, you know? Uh, but again, there's some times where I, I, I do things or some times where I record podcasts and I just don't put it out because I like, this was just for me in the moment. I just need to get this off my chest. And sometimes we just need that, you know? So if you have a podcast, I would say just start. If you have a business, just start. If you have something, you know, some creative itch that you need to scratch, just start. You know, who cares if, well, I don't say who cares. We care. Obviously you care, obviously, but it doesn't matter 
if you didn't start the day, the week, the time, the month that you wanted to just start now. You know, it doesn't matter if if all your friends don't support you, just start now. It doesn't matter if so-and-so told you no or you thought this person was going to help you. Just start now, regardless of who's there. You know, if I had all my friends and all my family listening to my podcast and supporting my podcast, I, man, I would be in the thousands and I would be super grateful for that. But I also understand that People are busy, you know, or people listen to what they listen to. You know, people already listen to a lot of podcasts or music or whatever. And, you know, for them to add another podcast, like it might feel like a lot to them, you know, or it may just not be their cup of tea. And I'm okay with that. I'm again, I'm not doing it because I want people to listen. I'm not doing it in the sense where I want all my friends and family to listen to me. If they listen to it, great. I love you. I appreciate you. If you don't listen to it, that's cool too. I still love you. I don't love you any less because you don't listen to my content, you know? So again, don't be concerned with the numbers. Just, just create content. Just start that business. Just do whatever it is. Execute that vision that God has given you. And the, and the numbers will come over time. You, You know, yes, some people get the numbers overnight seemingly, and some people don't get the numbers, you know, for, for years, but how are you, how are you consistent through it? You know, this social media era has taught us that people can be just using social media as an example. People can blow up over something like vine, but not make it or last uh, to Instagram. People can blow up on Instagram, but fizzle out over a few years. You know, they can blow up on YouTube or Facebook or whatever, but fizzle out over a couple years. I would rather have somebody who has steady momentum and has been consistent for years and years and years versus somebody who who blew up overnight, but didn't know how to sustain um, the, the, the fame or the fortune that, that came with everything. So, but at the same time, I can't also be concerned with what somebody else is doing. You know, just because it, it looks good or it sounds good from afar, doesn't mean that it is good. Or just because it looks good and, and sounds good from afar, doesn't mean that that's for me. You know, or just because it happened for them, doesn't mean it won't happen for me. You know, not everybody is gonna have millions of subscribers or millions of followers or millions of listeners. And that's okay. But don't, don't say you didn't start because, because, um, you didn't want to just get lost in the shuffle or don't say you didn't start just because everybody else is doing it. So why should I, if you feel led to do it, if you feel like God is leading you to do it, then just do it. You know, and 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 make time for the thing that you desire, make time for the thing that you believe in, you know, make time also just make time for God. And when you make time for God, God will will show you how he'll give you strategy for how to make time for the other things. You know, there are sometimes some nights where I'm like, man, I'm just tired. I don't feel like doing anything. But then I was like, you know what? Let me just read my word. Let me just read my Bible. And after reading my Bible, like it's like I find the strength, I find the energy to do the other things that I need to do. Sometimes, you know, it's, you know, because I do photography and videography, sometimes it's, you know, editing photos and videos. Sometimes it's um, recording a podcast episode. Other times it's like, man, now I just I feel like I could just rest in this piece, you know, rest in this moment. But. We, we have to, in general, we just need to incorporate God in everything. Um, because when you incorporate God in everything, then it eliminates the stress, uh, the, the, the level of stress that you may have had going into the thing. You know, it doesn't mean that, you know, all stress will be gone, but the, the way you look at the situation will, will be far different than if you didn't include God in it. You know, I found myself just in this last or just in this current season and in this last year, understanding that um, there are certain situations that are going to be stressful regardless. You know, there are certain situations that are just going to produce certain emotions regardless. However, how you incorporate God into the situation makes all the difference. You know, 
because when you bring God into the situation and you pray and you continue to lean hard on God, when you lean hard on him, you trust in him, you rely on him. You know, you find a peace that surpasses all understanding. It's again, not that you don't feel those emotions, but like when you feel it, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, so what's going on now, God? Like <laughs> you just don't even allow those things to bother you anymore. You know, you just, you keep, you keep pressing forward. You you acknowledge the situation, but it's just like, all right. Like, it's just like, it's, you let it roll off your back. You know, the things that bother you as a child shouldn't be the same thing that bother you as an adult. You know, the thing that bother you at 20 shouldn't still be bothering you at 30. You know, the thing that bother you when you started, it shouldn't be the same thing that bother you um, once you're once you have that momentum and once you're going. You know, I, I'm saying it should. It doesn't mean that it won't. You know, we all have pet peeves and things that bother us this and the third. But as we grow, as we mature, as we press forward, we shouldn't allow the things that 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 bothered us, you know, at our lowest or at our starting point be the thing that keeps bothering us um, as we have that traction, as we have grown and matured. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, so that that that's it, y'all. That that That's just how ha, that's just how I'm feeling. That's how I'm feeling. And I, again, I'm just I'm grateful that I was able to get to this point. I'm looking forward to recording more content. Um, it is the summer. So don't be surprised. I think I'm, I feel like I say some of the same stuff on every episode, but um don't be surprised if I take a break, you know, or if you don't hear from me from in consecutive weeks, but just understand that I will be, I will, I will do this podcast as, as long and as often as God gives me grace and peace to, to record, you know, so, some, I'm, I have some, some things that I, that I want to talk about. And I'm looking forward to talking about in upcoming episodes, but I also really need to pray about those things and just dig deeper into them. Cause I don't want it to, I don't think that those things will be very surface level conversations or surface level podcasts episodes. Um, but like in the weight of, of what I want to talk about, I think we'll, we'll definitely need it. We'll definitely need to be talked about. So yeah, just keep pressing, just keep pressing. And even if you've already started something and then got to a point where it's like, man, I did this for so long and now I just need a break. You know, I did this for so long and I took a break and now I just don't have the motivation or I just don't have the time. You know, again, just turn to the father, turn to God and just pray, <laughs> just pray, just ask God for guidance, ask God for peace, ask God for direction and just say, Hey, like, what should I do, God? Like, how should I move forward? And sometimes I've seen it with some people where God just gives them fresh revelation and, it, you know, the trajectory of everything that they did just is like it seemed like it, you know, changed overnight. And then for some people, God's like, all right, we're not doing this no more. But you just got to be OK with what God is telling you. Right. You know, you got to be OK with what God is telling you. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to go past the timetable that God has set for you. And sometimes the timetable, a timetable that God has for us could expire just based on our obedience. So if we're being disobedient, you know, God could put a halt to that thing. <laughs> and sometimes it's just you know, he puts a, a halt to it just because, he, you know, he wants us to pivot or shift into a different direction, to a new direction. So, uh, but obedience, obedience is better than sacrifice. So I would rather be obedient to God than sacrifice in other areas in order for me to do the thing that I want to do. Um, but that's just how I feel. That That's, that's me. <laughs> that's me. So, Woohoo to me <laughs> on episode 21. Uh, I hope that this episode encourages somebody to keep going. I hope this episode encourages somebody to start. 
I hope that this episode encourages somebody to keep their chin up. I hope that this episode encourages somebody that it doesn't matter what it looks like, that it doesn't matter how many people are listening. It doesn't matter who's listening. It doesn't matter whether it's friends and family or strangers. Just keep going. Just start. Just do the thing. And the support will come. The support will come. I got people who listen to this episode, to, who listen to my podcast. I couldn't tell you who who's a faithful listener. I just know I have people who listen and I'm grateful for all of you all who do listen. So anyway, at this point, I'm just rambling. So let me stop rambling and let me hop up off this thing. So, all right, y'all. Until next time, stay cool because it has been hot outside. Uh, Stay hydrated, too, because I know people who have passed out from dehydration just because they don't drink water. So drink your water. Stay cool. Be cool. Until next time. Thank you.